Molly! Come here! I'd like to introduce Molly. Molly is uh, an old English sheepdog. She's a pup. Unbelievable how cute this puppy is. Old English sheepdogs are great for herding. They're, they're well known for herding. They're very agile. She's so soft, like she's like a cotton ball. Really, she's like a cotton ball. Molly the farm dog. Molly, come.
how's it going guys as you can see this video is all about molly molly is our old english sheepdog puppy and we got her back in july she's uh, coming up to six months old now old english sheepdogs are an amazing breed of dog amazing they're they're cute cuddly fluffy they're working dogs. They're great at livestock guardian dogs. They're great at herding. Actually, Molly herds me all the time. She's always <laughs> darting around, you know, like like we'll be walking somewhere and she'll like come out in front of me on this way and stop. So she's basically directing me to go that way. Or she'll run around behind me, come around this side, boom, stop right here because she's directing me to go this way. It's amazing to see her in action, actually. Okay, I grabbed her because she's getting all hyper. Um, I don't know, maybe there's an unwritten rule that you're not supposed to introduce puppies to chicks and ducklings, because honestly, Molly's just gonna chase them. Look at her, her heart's pounding. She wants to chase them real bad, real bad. Molly, are you playing with the crickets? Are you gonna eat them? Did you just eat that cricket? Molly, did you just eat that cricket? You did! High five, high five, good girl! Good girl, Molly. Molly, what are you doing? Why are you in the lilies? Hey, what are you doing? Oh my God, oh my God! You just had a bath yesterday. Get out of there. She's, uh, what is she, 13 weeks now. So I just wanted to show you how big and strong she's getting and how hairy she's getting. Look at her. And she's, so, she's still so soft like a cotton ball. The old English sheepdog is somewhat of a dying breed though. The, uh, the American Kennel Club and the Canadian Kennel Club have both issued warnings that uh, the breed is slowly becoming extinct. Um, there's, there's fewer than 2,000 in North America right now. Which is sad because they're an amazing breed. They're such a great family dog and they're such a great working farm dog at the same time. You know, it's really sad that uh, not enough people are breeding and not enough people are interested in acquiring a sheepdog. Sometimes they're called OES, you know, Old English Sheepdog. Molly can sometimes be a little stubborn. Stubborn! It's like the word no, or come here, or drop it, those kind of commands. She knows, I know she knows, I trained her. Been training her for months. She looks at me and she chooses not to follow the command.
Old English sheepdogs have an amazing sense of humor. Amazing. They're so funny. They're like little fluffy clowns. It's incredible, their sense of humor. You know, they do things. They, I mean, just as my Molly as an example, you guys must have seen the videos where she's she wants me to play with her. She has something in her mouth like a ball or a Kong. And then she's she's bringing it to me as if, here, Dad, just take it. And then... When I go to to take it, to grab it, she kind of pulls away her face. So she's like getting closer to my hand. And then as soon as I reach my hand out like this, as soon as I reach my hand out, boom, she's pulling it away. She's a little trickster. She's got me trained. This is the whole thing. She's got me trained. We're training her to be both a guardian dog. So when we are here and when we will be here in the future, she'll be fully prepared to growl and bark at any anything that comes our way, especially at night. Old English sheepdogs have a double coat, okay? If anybody ever says to me, doesn't Molly feel cold? What are you doing leaving her outside? What's going on? No, that's not the way it works. They have two coats. They have the outer coat of all the hair that you see just boom. And then they also have an inner coat. It keeps them dry. It keeps them prepared for the cold weather. They're cold weather dogs. You should be questioning anytime you see a cold weather dog in a hot climate country, that's the real punishment. Molly had her final vaccination visit to the vet yesterday. And you'll never guess how much she weighs. First of all, all is well with her health. She's doing really good, but you'll never guess how much she weighs. The last time we had a, a vet visit, she was 25 pounds, and that was a month, and that was five weeks ago. This visit yesterday, she's 36 pounds. 36 pounds! How did I know you're gonna do that? You're so predictable. Oh my God, you're walking in the muck. You're walking in the muck again. Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ. She's gonna slip and fall and she's gonna get it all covered in her hair. This is stupid. You're gonna slip and fall in the mud. That's enough. Come here. You're crazy. Another amazing fact about Old English Sheepdogs is that they will not overeat. They will not. They, they like to graze. Okay, I have food there for her in the morning and water. She won't touch it. She doesn't touch her food and water all day until about two three o'clock and then she won't eat anything again until hmm, sometimes eight nine sometimes ten o'clock then she'll finish her whole bowl of food it's quite incredible that an old english sheepdog can be so big and powerful and don't get me wrong people she looks like a little furball but uh she's pretty muscular underneath she's got a big strong build you know she's big boned and uh it's quite amazing 
that uh, she can become like that without really eating a lot. You know, like I've had dogs in my life that just scarf down anything you give them right away. It's like, and then they'll eat again and they'll barf it up and then they'll eat it. And it's just, it's just, you know, an ongoing saga. What are you doing on that hay bale? What are you doing? Molly, are you just hanging out? What are you doing? Huh? Get off of there. Another amazing fact about Old English Sheepdogs is that they don't really shed. They don't shed like a typical shedding dog sheds, you know, like, like a lab, for example, will just shed out the winter coat in the spring. It's just crazy. So you get this little, tiny little fur everywhere. Most dogs have fur. Old English Sheepdog has hair and it's long hair and the hair does fall out. Don't get me wrong. When you're brushing her or sometimes she's picking at it herself it it falls out just like our human hair naturally falls out but she doesn't shed a coat no no shedding just hair falling out and it usually falls out in little clumps so it's easy to clean up and maintain Some of you might have noticed that our Molly, at least, not all Old English Sheepdogs, because it depends on the breeder, but most Old English Sheepdogs have their tail docked, meaning she has this little, underneath the hair, there's this little stump. It's, uh, so there's no tail. And uh, kind of a quick history about docking. It's, uh, it's an easy process. It's, uh, you just put a little rubber band around it when they're newborns and it just kind of cuts off the blood flow and it falls off. You know, it's quite simple. It's painless for the dog and it's uh, easy to do. Um, but if you think in historical times when these dogs were bred as guardian dogs for livestock and as herding dogs, it makes them a more efficient and effective protector. Okay, if you think of if you think of, I don't know, like an MMA fighter having a ponytail, is it not just another thing hanging there that the opponent can grab and kind of wrench the neck? So if, if uh, an old English sheepdog back in the day was defending some farm animals from like a coyote and it did get into a fight with the coyote, there's less, it's less likely that the dog can, can get rabies because the tail is the easiest thing to grab, right? It's the easiest thing to, when, when, when you're fighting, it makes them a more efficient fighter, uh, really. That's why they had no tails, so that they could win the fight.
What are you doing? What are you doing? Look at your face. Look guys, look what she's doing. She's digging a hole. Look at all the dirt that she's dung up. Oh my gosh, she's peeing. She's peeing. Look at your face. Look at your face. So you can see guys, it's quite an amazing thing to watch. I mean, I understand that we just started this YouTube channel and I'm just a beginner and uh, I hope I'm doing okay with my episodes. But uh, you know, when Molly was so small and she could just kind of fit in my arm and I had her riding on the mule and then just to see her grow over a few months that we've had her, it's incredible. You know, she's over 50 pounds now. When we got her, she was only like, 12 pounds so that's quite astounding thanks for watching guys appreciate it hope you enjoyed the video of watching the life and times of molly and uh, i thought it would be cool to do this kind of a video for you guys and for me it's nice to reminisce and you know remember five years from now when i'm watching this video back it's gonna bring a tear to my eye remember to subscribe Please subscribe if you like this video. Please subscribe if you like Hidden Spring Farm. Got big plans here on the farm. And appreciate you watching. And we'll see you on the next episode.